Morning guys. Welcome to today's video. <clears throat> I did just wake up. So my face is a little puffy. I apologize. <clears throat> but this is the way. This is the way. <laughs> Uh, this is the way I look when I first wake up, so, um, if you got a problem with it, go fuck yourself. So today's a rest day, um, weighed in at 260, that is a new high, <laughs> I did not expect that. I feel, that's funny because I feel like, I feel like I'm lighter today than most days, so I thought it was going to be like 255-ish. <laughs> so... Um, that was uh, unexpected, but I would say that's probably a good thing considering the way that I'm looking, feeling, feeling pretty, uh, pretty lean, but I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling full, that's for sure. Feeling full, but feeling, feeling lean. Getting the daily stuff going, getting my uh, health subs in, my Lantis and Nortotropin in. Uh, we're gonna get in our caffeine for the morning. Um, and with that, the only Redcon 1 product I don't use, we're gonna put in some NAC. This is 1200 milligrams of NAC. Doesn't taste like anything, you don't notice the taste, but I just do one little scoop of that in my drink. <clears throat> easy way to get that in. Not that pills aren't easy, but uh, then we've got our double tap product from Redcon One. This is basically just caffeine. There's some other things in it that are supposed to help promote fat loss, but uh, the main reason I use it is caffeine. I don't really like coffee, so that's what's up there. We're gonna get in some glutamine, 10 grams of glutamine with this. By the way, guys, I have been playing some games on my channel. I should have just broke that. Oh. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Okay, I fucked that whole thing up. Fuck. Swing it! <laughs> How about this? We get the bird, they come out here, and then I just get stabbed! Live streaming some games, and uh... There have been a couple complaints that, you know, why are you putting this on your fitness channel? Guys, the whole point of me even doing those at all is to give you guys a free opportunity to come in and ask a question about whatever you want to ask. Like, who cares if I'm playing games? You can come in and ask a question. You know, that's, that's the point of it. It's not for you guys to come in and watch me play, like who gives a shit? I mean, it's probably a little more entertaining than, you know, me just sitting in front of the camera a answering questions constantly. But yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I'm doing that to give you guys an opportunity to come in and, and, and ask what's on your mind. Ask, you know, what do I think of this cycle or, or whatever, you know? That's the point. This is creatine. Getting my daily dose of creatine. That's the point of it. Who cares if I'm playing games? It's the fact that <laughs> giving you guys a chance to ask live questions and interact with me. Um, for those of you that can't make it to the Wednesday, uh, Wednesday at noon Central Standard Time live stream that I do, where that is all that I do is strictly answer questions, you know? So, don't take it like I'm trying to, like, be a gamer or anything like that. The only reason that I do it is so that it gives me a chance to interact with you guys more. That's all. 
That's the only reason I do it. If you guys didn't, because, you know, there's not a lot of people that come in and ask questions because, you know, of course, you're not interested in, in that. But still, if there was nobody that came in and, like, asked any questions at all about that kind of stuff or talked bodybuilding during that time, then I probably wouldn't do it. But that's just it. There's people that come in and they talk to me about that kind of stuff while I'm playing. And I can answer just fine while I'm playing. So... That's the point of it. It's not, it's not anything, it's not anything else. So I just wanted to make that clear to some of you guys. <clears throat> it's just to give you a chance to ask, to ask questions. Ah, uh, yeah. Which brings me to my next point. Uh, the questions, you know, that you guys do ask. Uh, <clears throat> one question that I get a lot I get a lot, is can I pin such and such area with an insulin needle? And guys, I'm, I'm, I just want to say you guys are asking the wrong question. <laughs> you guys are like, of course you can pin. Of course you can pin an insulin, you can pin whatever you want, wherever you want with an insulin needle. That's the wrong question. You can pin anything you want anywhere. You can take an insulin needle and you can pin trend straight into your forehead sub Q if you want. Like you can do it. You can totally do it. But that's the wrong question. <laughs> you, need, you need to be more intelligent with your questions because yes, that the answer is yes. You absolutely can to any any of those. Yes, you can pin there with an insulin needle. Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't make it right. No, it doesn't make it right. But yes, you absolutely can pin anywhere. You, you can pin into your fucking heel if you want. <laughs> like, but I get these questions, so many questions where people are like, can I pin here? With an insulin needle. Everybody's asking about insulin needles. <sighs> Number one, when it comes to insulin needles and pinning and getting into the muscle, like that's the most important thing is number one, getting your, your injection into your muscle. Number two, the only way you're going to be able to do that is number one, if you have lots of numbers here, if you have a long enough insulin needle. So like if you're using actual insulin needles, you need to make sure you're buying a half inch insulin needle and a half inch needle. That's the longest you can buy of an insulin needle. So you need to buy that. If you can find a little bit bigger, then great. But the bigger, the better there. Um, the, the next thing is, are you lean enough? to be able to reach the muscle with a half inch insulin needle. And in my experience, most people on gear are doing it to get skinny, which means you're too fat <laughs> to be able to use insulin needles because most of you are trying to lose weight while using steroids. Most of you are trying to use steroids as a shortcut to get skinny and you're asking about using insulin needles and if you're trying to use steroids for weight loss, you're probably too fat to pin with insulin needles. So the answer is yes, you can pin wherever you want, but does it make it right? Absolutely no. Does it mean that you're doing it right? No, you need to be able to get the needle into the muscle. Otherwise, it's probably going to leave a little golf ball, a, a little marble sized lump wherever you do inject it because it didn't get into the muscle and it just went sub Q. And it'll probably be a painful little lump depending on the amount of gear you pinned. But I mean, that's, that's, that's the question that you guys need to be asking is, am I lean enough to be injecting with an insulin needle? And then am, like, are you lean enough in whatever area you're, you're questioning? Like a guy asked me, just yesterday, can I pin quads with an insulin needle? Are you, are you lean enough to do that? Most people don't have a whole lot of fat on their quads. So typically the answer would be yes, but if you're fat, like no, you can't. Like you shouldn't be using insulin needles if you are 20% body fat or more, and most of you are. Most of you are like, I'm 15%. No, you're not, you're 25. Like th there's so many of you that claim whatever body fat percentage you are, and then I'm like, send me pictures, let me see it. And you're not, you're always, way underestimating you guys are just 
way too fat than than what you actually are expecting and that's a problem because then you're injecting sub q and then your injections are painful and the, you're getting lumps and you're wondering why <laughs> so the answer to can i pin with an insulin needle here the answer is yes but the main thing you need to understand is are you lean enough to pin that area is that area lean enough for you to pin into? Is it terrible if it doesn't go into the muscle? No, it will still get absorbed. The thing is that like the reason why you can pin it into your fucking forehead if you want, you can pin it into your heel, you can pin it into the bottom of your foot, you can pin it wherever, or you can pin it wherever you want. The thing is, is if it gets into your system, if it's under your skin, it's going to get used. It's going to get absorbed. You can pin it into the head of your dick if you want. Like it'll get absorbed. You might get a, an infection in some areas, but for the most part, it will get absorbed. Now, I'm not saying to do pin it anywhere. You want to pin it into areas that you know are going to have some good blood flow, and typically you want to pin it into the muscle. But the thing is, if you get it into your skin, if you get it into your system that's good enough and it's going to get the job done. The best way, in my opinion though, is to get it deep into a muscle so that that muscle can absorb it faster because there's more blood flow through muscle than fat or under the skin. That's the whole point of pinning it into muscle is to get it into your bloodstream easier. So it's not just sitting there in your fat and leaving a lump and making you look like a lumpy idiot which, I mean, you're fat, you're probably not taking your shirt off anyway. So that's, that's the bottom line. That's what I wanted to say today. That's what I wanted to try to get across to you guys today is that, yes, you can pin absolutely anywhere you want, but if you're fat, it doesn't, it, it, you probably shouldn't be using insulin needles anyway. You should be using an inch and a half long needle and pinning into your glutes, your quads, your shoulders, because an inch and a half needle will get the job done. So... That's it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope uh, hope this video hits home for some of you. Some of you fatties asking questions about insulin needles, trying to do it that way. I I'm sorry, but yeah, you can do it that way. If you don't mind the marble lumps in your fat cells, then go for it. But <clears throat> I, uh, I don't recommend it because, I mean, that's no fun. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Remember, nobody cares train harder. And I will see you all next time.